Hey guys, today we're uh, messing around with 18 650 batteries. These are 3.7 volt lithium ion batteries. You can pull these out of a laptop battery pack, a cordless drill battery pack. Actually, I got these Sanyo cells out of a Ryobi 18 volt lithium ion battery pack. Uh, basically, I had two cells in the whole pack that were dead. And uh, I'm kind of messing around with these today to see if there's any way to bring an old uh, 18650 battery back to life. And I wouldn't recommend trying any of this stuff at home. Uh, stay tuned to the end of the video. I actually like, try to pull one of these things apart. Um, I wouldn't recommend that either. So what I'm going to do in this segment, I've got a homebrew uh, capacitive battery charger here. It's just a, a, brig rec a bridge rectifier and two big ass microwave capacitors and some alligator clips. Be very careful with this. Don't even try to do anything like this at home unless you know what you're doing, all right? Without any kind of protection circuit, these are putting out massive amounts of volts. Um, this can stop your heart in a second. So don't mess around with this stuff. Uh, do the research before you try to make one of these. Uh, <laughs> for sure, all right? Uh, if you got a bad 18650, just uh, use my links up here or down there. I'll put some links to some good uh, like Panasonic cells on eBay and Amazon. So just to show you, we got no love here. Put, throw it on the multimeter. No voltage. No voltage at all. Alright, so... We're gonna go ahead and clamp our multimeter in here so you can see just see how just just how dangerous these things can be. If I can get it to stick. Make sure you're wearing all proper precautions. Look at that little arc point right there. Yeah, you could probably weld with this thing. All right, now let's plug it in. Let's see what kind of voltage we get. Well, those clips don't like to clamp onto a single surface, do they? That should do it there. All right, we're gonna plug this in. Look for sparks. Right. We are in AC mode. Uh, helps, doesn't it? 111 volts. 111.8 volts, okay? DC. Alright, that's that's hardcore, dude. Alright, hardcore. So what we're gonna do being very careful. Make sure you're wearing safety glasses, all kinds of fun protective stuff. All right, hope I don't die. Didn't die, didn't die. Alright, so what a capacitive battery charger does is it uses a bridge rectifier to basically uh, send high frequency pulses into the battery. And it's actually much better. It actually desulfates the battery. Uh, the, the frequency is the frequency of your line, so this would be 60 hertz. Um, so basically that, the voltage is going through that bridge rectifier and it's pulsing back and forth at 60 hertz, uh, putting out high voltage, uh, and the amperage actually varies depending on what the battery can take. So the battery only takes what it can, but it puts out high voltage pulsed power. Um, and that's actually good. It can be really good for the acid batteries. Um, pretty much any kind of battery. And that's what we're testing here. Alright, give it a few seconds. I don't want to explode things. I'm going to unplug this so I don't kill myself. When you unplug it, make sure you give it a minute, because those are capacitors right there. <laughs> you can kill yourself with a capacitor. Alright, it is slightly warm. It's 
See what our voltage is that. So, yeah, still not much though. We are getting uh, more millivolts. Alright. Well, the most I can do is hurt myself, so let's give it another try. Got any love here? Yeah, not really showing any love there. Nah. You know, these are putting out, if this is putting out 111 volts, even though it is cycled, it is pulsed at the frequency of the line, um, I'm actually concerned about doing it for very long. Um, at least indoors. Battery is warming up. You know, you hear about people uh, having their vaporizers explode on them. <laughs> They're just uh, taking a puff at the bar and it explodes all over everyone. This is probably not the safest thing to be doing. But it's kind of the same idea as fixing uh, an old car battery with uh, an arc welder. Uh, basically like destroying all those little uh, dendrites of uh, plate growth. I know lithium ion is completely different than that, but the cell's dead anyway, we're just messing around, right? Alright, I'm going to call that a no-go. Uh, pretty much it was only 2 out of 10 batteries that were bad, so not a big deal. I was just messing around. Make sure you stay tuned. I'm going to take one of these apart. I had uh, mistakenly thought that this top part was a protective coin cell part of the battery. It turns out that's just the crimped part of the battery. These are unprotected. I thought they were protected. So you can see me get battery acid all over myself in the next segment. 
make sure you subscribe to the channel. Today on Gadget Class, we're taking a look at some 18650 batteries. These are lithium ion batteries, and you usually find these in uh, laptop uh, battery packs, uh, cordless drill battery packs. I actually harvested these out of a Ryobi lithium ion 18 volt battery pack. Uh, but they come in laptops, they come in everything. And uh, they're actually becoming quite popular for uh, Cree LED flashlights, for uh, vaporizer mods, for a lot of other things because people have realized that uh, they're a lot more versatile than uh, standard battery, alkaline battery technology. And uh, with the right knowledge and know-how, they're actually a much more superior battery. They're only slightly larger than a AA battery, but they put out uh, 3.7 volts. So uh, much more powerful, much greater longevity, and a much better platform. But I've got two batteries here that I harvested out of that battery pack that do not work. They just aren't showing me any love. And uh, the reason that happens is there's actually a little coin protection cell up at the top. Um, getting no love there. See this little uh, nub up here? This little uh, indentation? That part up there is actually the protective, the protection cell of the battery. That actually protects uh, the battery, shuts it down, keeps it from charging uh, should you reach like some sort of extreme condition like uh, low voltage, over voltage, over amperage, that sort of thing. And uh, while that might be good in a laptop battery pack, um, let's face it, if you're taking apart battery packs and you're messing around with vaporizer mods and flashlights, you probably don't care about protection anyways. So we're going to take that crap off there. It's uh, it's not too difficult. Uh, these will not charge in any kind of charger. Cheap charger, expensive charger, they just will not charge. We're going to take a uh, nice sharp utility knife there. I'm just going to cut around like so. Pull that off there and you can see a nice little coin cell there. Let's grab a screwdriver. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I've never actually done this. And I'm just flying by the seat of my pants here. Whoa. Well, that turned out to be absolutely incorrect. Uh, I just fucking got battery acid all over myself. So, that's that was wrong. That little button cell up there is not a protection circuit. That's a battery cap. I'm going to go uh, neutralize this acid on my fingers and... Uh, properly dispose of this battery. Um, so, just in case you're wondering, not all battery packs have a protection circuit on them. And I was mistaken. Huh. Well, shit, I already made a fool of myself. Let's see, uh, let's see how much damage we can do. Let's see what's on the inside of this thing here. It's already ruined. Let's take it to the extreme. So I was thinking that this uh, this coin cell up here at the top was the protection. Apparently I'm retarded. But let's see what we can do here. Don't try this at home. Wear gloves and shit. Uh, 
Yeah, that's not coming out. So it looks like it's it's press fit in there. So whatever they put the cell in, then they they crimp it, crimp it around there, crimp that little lip over, and then uh, it's got a little uh, insulating layer between the button cell and the button part of the cell and uh, the casing. So I probably won't post this video, but it was fun to do anyways. Subscribe to the channel. Do it.